Okay, guys, I just wanted to show you my indoor garden, how it's doing. Since it's cold, there's not much going on outside, so I'm pretty bored. <laughs> I have some uh, broccoli growing. I don't see any yet. That's like my third or fourth generation uh, green onions. I've cut them down so many times. And my lettuce, this baby I grew from a seed. I'm so proud. My rosemary, I've cut several times. This is my pitcher plant. He was very sickly when I got him. As you can tell, he's growing new pitchers and he's very happy. It's a trumpet plant. Eats bugs. And I don't know if you guys remember when I repotted my fly traps, I got a bunch of babies off of it. And I brought them inside because I didn't think that they would make it through the winter, put them under a bright light, and we have traps eating, turning pink, growing beautifully. I have this guy full of bugs. Look, so fun. See the little flies? My indoor garden uh, keep the little f little gnats around, so they have plenty of food to eat in here. Okay, so this fly trap right here, I've had for a few years now. Well, maybe a year, maybe a full year now. And he is the one that's in all my pictures, the bright pink one from last year. The one that I had posted the video of him eating, that was this guy. Um, the summer, the hot, hot summer, had actually caused him to go dormant because it gets to 120 degrees here in Vegas, so it's so hot. And all his leaves died off, and I was afraid he was a goner. But I didn't give up. I put him in the shade and was hoping he would come back, and he did. And now I have him inside, getting strong and healthy. I'll put him back out when spring comes. And then also this baby is so tiny. Let me see if I can get him under the light a little better. This little tiny baby. What's funny is he has a fly in, the, in one of his traps. Let me see, hold on, this little trap is open. Let me try to get a good focus. See, there's an open trap right there. Isn't that cool? And he's such a tiny baby, look. Look how tiny that thing is. How cool is that? I didn't know he would make it, but he did. And he's ready for food. He's got his traps open. He's got one closed with food in it, I believe. Yep. You can tell because they're sealed when they have a seal on them. This one in the back here. You can see he's sealed shut. So he's got food, and then this guy over here is a new baby too. Oh, look, he popped back open. He ate a fly, and he's pretty tiny. Look, <laughs> aren't they cute? I love my babies. So that's what's cool about repotting. Sometimes you get little gifts from your guys. Like they're all tiny. See that? I got a little pink guy right here. Pretty cool, right? Tons of tons of food all around. Now let's look at my red dragon. Let me pull him out of the pink light so you can see his actual color. Now he is called a red dragon. He is a darker shade because of the way he was bred. Now, there are several different types of fly traps, different breeders, so millions of different kinds. Let's see here. Let's get a good close-up of this guy. When I got him, he was very sickly as well. I got him from predatory plants, and they travel in a box for a while, and when you get them, they look pretty dead. But I just stuck him in a new pot under the bright light. I didn't put him outside for the winter either because he was so small when I got him. He was like really tiny. And so he's grown some all new traps. 
right here. All these are new beauties. So bright. Look at that purple. Can't wait to put them outside to get the sunlight. They live better outside, guys. It's just these were little tiny babies and it's cold right now and they wouldn't have made it through the first winter. And it's not good to skip dormancy, but the first one, it'll be all right. Okay, and here is another plant. Here's my sundew. I'll bring him out of the pink light so you can see. I have to care for them all differently. Some of them need to stand in water and some of them don't. So, But look at how pink on this guy. This guy has little sundew venom drops that grows on him and it catches the bugs and then when the bug dies they absorb the nutrition look there's a guy that's alive over here let me see if i can get a good focus let me blow on it ew you can see a few of them are alive and he gets a bright pink hue on him. That means they're getting good lighting. Whenever your predatory plant or your carnivorous plant has nice pink, that means that they're nice and happy with their lighting. Okay, so he's a baby. I haven't had him long. I've been just nursing him back to health because when he came out of the box, he had no, no droplets on him, no dew. He was all dried out, looking sad. So we're nursing him. He stays in all the time. I keep him inside. They need to stay in a warm temperature. The fly traps can survive the cold. These cannot. Now, my main attraction here, my pitcher plants, my nepenthes. I'm going to pull one out from the red light here. I have nine of them. Maybe I'll pull a couple out. Hold on a second. Let's see which one I want here. I got some big guys. This guy, maybe. And then I think I want to take out... Hmm. So this guy's not open yet. Let me get this guy. Right, guys. Look at this picture. Big, big guy. It's beautiful, right? Let's see if we can see inside there. I think we can. Let's see what kind of bugs is going on in there. Is there anything floating? Let me see. I don't see anything yet. Okay, these guys are just opening up, so it takes them a minute to get food. This guy is beautiful. Look how red. Now the sticky stuff up here is venom. It's a nectar that lures the bug up into the trap. These don't close. The only time that these tops close is if they don't have enough humidity. They have their own little venom inside here that they grow themselves. I don't have to do that. Look at this guy. He's happy. Big boy. They're gorgeous. Very happy. Look at those little hairs. Big boy from there. Cool, right? Cool, cool. Oh, I have a guy over here that hasn't opened up yet. So when they fully mature, then they'll pop their top open and they're ready to eat. They kind of look like a little wiener at first. But yeah, these are my pictures. I was hoping, oh, look at the nectar on that guy. Let me turn him away from the pink light. Focus. Let's see. I can't get a good focus. 
There we go. No. What is going on? Stupid camera. This is what happens when you use your phone. Anyways, just wanted to show you guys. I don't know why I'm losing my uh, focus here on everything. But I just wanted to show you how cool. There you go. Now you can see. There's tons of tons of nectar on this guy. So cool. Anyways, this is my indoor plants. And let me see what you guys are doing.